I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of waste management. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss the mechanical volume and size reduction. So, first of all, we will we should understand that why we have to go for mechanical volume and size reduction. That means uh, we need to reduce the size of waste. And uh, basically, uh, we can say we have certain amount of waste at the beginning. Once you apply the size and volume reduction, compared to the original size, the amount of waste has to be reduced. Also, make the size of the waste uniform so that disposal, processing, recycling, that will be very easy. So, like making the size of the waste equal, uh, later we can say like uh, reduce the size, all the things that comes under uh, mechanical volume and size reduction. That means reduction in the quantity of material. Okay, like uh, uh, the weight, you can talk about the weight. Similarly, improve the efficiency of collection and disposal. Of, of course, if the size of the waste is uniform, the collection, disposal, all the activities will be uh, feasible. Uh, landfill, increase the life of landfill. It support for landfill process also and economically viable waste management system. So these are the purpose of uh, going for volume reduction or compaction. So regarding the volume reduction, uh, what are the major like what are the major challenges of volume reduction? Ultimately, the size reduction and volume reduction uh, almost similar only, but uh, uh, mainly volume reduction means we are doing like a compaction, some like uh, we are applying the pressure and reducing the volume. Correct. Suppose if you reduce the volume, if you want to reduce the volume, what you are supposed to do? You have to increase the pressure. Size reduction means a removal. We can say like a removal or Ultimately, we can say like both are similar term only. So if I talk about the volume reduction, there are some challenges like the poor quality of recyclable material. Similarly, uh, like uh, segregation, sorting. Okay, like some biodegradable items uh, that will uh, spoil uh, the quantity of other material if you go for like uh, uh, volume reduction, applying the pressure and reducing the volume. Okay, you might have studied about the law of P1, V1 equal to P2, V2, Boyle's law, you might have studied. Okay, yes. Now we can talk about like uh, equipment used for compaction. So we have like uh, two types of equipment, stationary equipment and mobile equipment. Examples of stationary equipment are like uh, steel containers, chamber, transport vehicle, etc. Okay, these are actually called the stationary equipments. It is purely manual and the light duty and the heavy duty applications are available. If I talk about the movable equipment, we can say like if you look at this, this is our stationary equipment and we have the movable equipment. Okay, so we say like a movable, so definitely wheel and wheel tractor equipments are one of the category comes under movable equipment. Okay, so these are the two types of uh, equipment which are used for compaction. Okay, we already discussed the compaction is a method of volume reduction. Two types, one is stationary type, other one is movable equipment. Apart from that, movable equipment, apart from that different, uh, like movable equipment, we have different type of classification. Vertical equipment, uh, rotary equipment, we have bag, under container, packers, transfer trailer, stationary low air pressure, movable wheel equipment. These are the other methods. So, you can make a list of different type of mechanical or like compaction devices, vertical, rotary, back, etc. These are the different type of or the compaction devices. You can prepare a checklist. Okay. So there are different purpose also. Packers are mainly used for collection in the stage, uh, collection stage, under counters are like a close to reduce the order. Then bags are like there are multi bag and single bags, rotary equipment like uh, Plastic bag compaction, mainly paper, plastic, the compaction of those kind of devices. Okay. Similarly, movable wheel equipment will be helpful for waste disposal. Compactor can be divided into two types. One is called a low pressure compactor. Other one is known as high pressure compactor. It is based on the like a pressure level. Look, if the pressure gauge reads the pressure which is less than 7 kilogram per centimeter square, then uh, the compact the compactor device is comes under low pressure compactor. It is mainly used for like a large scale, okay, especially apartments and commercial buildings. If I talk about the high pressure compactor, if the pressure more than 7 kilogram per centimeter square, so that is known as 
uh, high pressure compactor application waste collection in various sizes. This is regarding the type of compactor. You can make a note of this. So there are different parameters to measure the compaction. One is called a volume reduction. Okay, so if you measure uh, the volume of waste before compaction and the volume of uh, waste after compaction and take the ratio of two, then we'll come to know the volume reduction. Volume reduction should be as high as possible. Compaction ratio is nothing but the volume of waste before compaction and the volume of waste after compaction. Okay, so, uh, so volume of waste after compaction should be high. That means uh, compaction ratio should be less. The value of compaction ratio should be less. That is desirable for us. Correct? Yeah. So these are the major parameters for uh, mechanical volume and size reduction, especially for compaction. So we have to take care about like uh, uh, the features of compaction equipment, like uh, moisture content, size, and then composition, transferring and feeding the to the waste compactor, uh, then uh, potential uses for uh, waste material, compaction waste material, design features such as sizing, uh, then pressure, pressure level, compaction ratio, operational features such as reliability, noise, uh, then size concentration. These are the different type of factors we need to consider for selection of compaction equipment. Okay, so these are comes under like the volume reduction. Okay, that means you are applying the pressure and reducing the volume. So the size reduction uh, we have facility like shredding. Okay, for like uh, if you want to cut or if you want to reduce the size we are going to use for size reduction. Uh, it uh, definitely it will help for land reduction. Or material recovery, okay, reduction of moisture, etc. So these are the different type of equipment which are used for size reduction, like uh, hamper mill, hydro pulper, small grinders, chippers, large grinders, jaw crusher, uh, rock mills, shredders, cutters, clippers. These are the types of size reduction uh, equipments. Okay, so, so if you go for like a size reduction equipments, of course, uh, we can say like size will be reduced. Okay, size, size reduction in the sense it's similar to volume reduction only, but uh, uh, for example, we are removing that particular portion. Okay, meaning will be same only, but uh, uh, in the size reduction, we are using a separate tools. Okay. So in this video, we have discussed about importance of mechanical volume and size reduction. Both are similar only. Okay. Uh, so in the volume reduction, we use like uh, applying the high pressure and reducing the volume, that concept. So we have like different type of equipments we listed at the beginning. Later, another device is called as compactor devices. Low pressure compactor and high pressure compactor are the major classification. So we, these are the major parameters of the compaction. So I just discussed how to select the compaction devices. Okay, based on the para following parameters. Later, we discussed about the size reduction, like uh, shredding. It is also known as shredding or cutting, remover, etc. So we have different equipments for uh, performing the uh, size reduction tools, size reduction equipments. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. In the coming session, I am going to discuss about the various type of equipment which are used for size reduction. Let me elaborate individually. So thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.